All right. So yesterday, uh, all right. So we know that Kevin Hart is dealing with the sex torsion uh, situation. Is that a word? Sex extortion. Yo, you, you know I what can't I mean. Even hear Pinky say the word sex. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Joe. Oh spinning. my God! Look right. at Nadeska's cousin. Who is this? <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. Sorry, sorry, uh, Nadeska's cousin. All right, so uh, the woman that they think could be behind it held a press conference yesterday. So she got Lisa Bloom t uh, to be her lawyer. The same woman representing the woman in the Usher case, and also Black China. The same woman representing. Well, I won't say Black China. Yo, Lisa Bloom is a Johnny Cochran for thoughts, man. Like, if we call Al Sharpton an ambulance chaser, yo, like, Jesus Christ, this chick is a thought chaser for real, yo. But this woman is saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name correctly, Montia Sabag? Sabag? Because I, like I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't get to watch the, the What's uh, her stripper stream? name? I know she says she yeah, has a stripper, but what's her angel. stripper name? Okay. <laughs> so she said that she, <laughs> they're saying that she is also a victim here, that someone secretly placed those cameras to catch them, that she's a victim, Kevin Hart's a victim, they're not trying to sue him. Him. They're just trying to figure out who did this. You guys don't seem to believe any of it. You guys <laughs> exclude you. I want to hear your commentary. My opinion. Wait, is can not we hear? Office. Do we have the video for her talking or not? Do we have a video of it? No. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I found it interesting how, and again, if you watch the video of how she was introduced, how ever since this bod baby chick yo, everybody's a recording artist and an actress yo. Okay. That's what really? bod baby. Whatever that catch, catch me outside, outside girl. girl. That's oh, how they introduce the chick. Me, Bobby. <laughs> That's how they introduce the chick. H however, hearing that type of thing, uh, that could be true. Even though I feel like these women might have been in on it, but I wouldn't. Uh, I'm not going to rule out completely that somebody else didn't realize. It. Say it's a hotel. Mm -hmm. Even though apparently this happened somehow at a brothel too. But if it's a hotel, like, shit, I'm staging a camera with that bitch. Like, then they do, they do, they did it to an ESPN chick, right? Somebody was doing some peephole type of shit. And then tried to extort um, uh, the, the lady on ESPN. And then she later sued and got a lot of money from the hotel and blah, blah, blah. blah. So that is possible. But I'm not going to lie. I watched the video with this chick. She looked guilty. I ain't going to lie. She looked like she's in on it. She looked like... Just from her at the press just conference? Just off the energy she was giving off. You know what I mean? And the boats. Like, I mean... It seems so contrived. It, she didn't look believable. Like she was, she had to read. She had to like read her name twice. She hmm. was crazy. So I, I'm not believing her. But it's not outside the realm of possibility that somebody else is setting both of them up. Even though she doesn't matter. Like no one gets money off you. Fam, fam. You talked about this in your podcast know, for ten know, hours. Know, know, Break this down to me, man. Give no, me the deep dive. I mean, know, That's why you sick. I know we're on like a show and complex is what Verizon like. So we got to really be professional and. When Let's has that ever made you want to be a professional? Well, I am a vendor, so I am going to break this down the way it should be broken down. You guys protect yourselves. Wait, wait I just said to, <laughs> I just, I just said to stop my either one. You had a lot of mites and maybes <laughs> and I know. <laughs> Check this out. This plan was foiled from the rip. This was a horrible fucking plan. And yeah, somebody set, setting the camera up that's not her. She's absolutely right. It's her fucking cousin. Text that bitch and tell her to come <laughs> bring the phone. <laughs> it's over. The jig is up. Come out from around the corner. They tried to scam him. I said, listen, we need some money. I got you. I sent you this joint. Can not say, hey, I'm going to give you niggas four or five million. The bitch was probably surprised. Like, oh, shit, I'm going to need ten. Cam was like, ten? You wildin'. Called his wife up. <laughs> said what he had to say and now there's no money scammers should have a plan B to get to the money so this is the plan B I believe that this is the plan you might be B on some. I <laughs> am the victim too this is plan <laughs> B in full effect and fucking Kev Kev you my man you are my man and I love you man but <sighs> this damage control tour that he's on is super trash. Wait, wait, what damage control tour is he, he's on? He's going everywhere with his where wife. a paparazzi is with his wife and They're the kids. They're following him. Do you, the kids look mad. The wife look mad. In the pictures? It's still look. It's, um. it's not working. It's not working. Then I read something yesterday that said Kevin Hart got a brand. I don't know if this might have been a joke. Me and Sin laugh so much at this. I, this better be a joke. That Kevin Hart got a brand new family-oriented sketch comedy cartoon coming out soon? Boy, if that's true. How do you make it happen so quick, though? It's true! <laughs> so, and again, I'm, I'm, 
I'm speculating here. I could see why you're on the damage control tour. You make too much money. Listen, anytime you call the feds when you're cheating, <laughs> you make a lot of money. I can't do that. Why well, don't cheat? See? And if I could cheat and call the feds, no, I still wouldn't do it. I love you, baby. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Damage control trash. Damage control. Shit, yesterday he put out a clip. Kev, you are smarter than this. He put out a clip with niggas taping him, and he's, I don't know if he's joking or he's serious because he's a comedian. That's why it's genius, because he can walk that line. And he said, oh, I love my wife. I love my wife. All I know is marriage. I don't know anything before marriage. I don't know anything after. That is out. It exists. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. What? Stop. Wait, you want him to do an Usher just kind of Every lay time out? he do a vid, every time he post a vid since this incident and the kids and the wife was in it, the kids and the wife look like they're saying, nigga, fuck you. If you don't get out of here, you know why that was telling? In the first video I saw there in the Jeep, Kev playing Gordon Banks. And Kev looked like that's his phone plugged up to Gordon Banks. And Gordon Banks is hard. I play that song, Keep You In Mind, all the time. Shout out to Gordon Banks. You're phenomenal. Uh, you know how hard it is to be angry to that song? You know how hard it is to keep a straight face and not enjoy the vibe and the energy at a good time to fucking Gordon Banks keep you in mind? You know how hard it is to look fucking perturbed as they did in that video? Sorry, Kev. Wait, you would Listen, go it. find the videos. I, I wish we had him here. No, nah, no. Nah. But, man. I think he's bodying this whole thing. You know what I mean? Total he's cop. not bodying this thing. Okay, suggest so what he should do better. Lock his been, wife away, don't like she's gonna be out. Paparazzi's this is not the time to be misogynistic. <laughs> no, but, no, no, but what I'm saying is he should not lock his wife somewhere. That's clear. Tell her to smile. Like that would look real voting. Yeah, tell her to fucking smile. He told her to get in the car. <laughs> man, nah, man. I think Shit. I think if you look on his face, there's sadness too. It just, you can see remorse. I'm not remorse is on it. his face. She's mad. You know what I mean? Get that, to it. that woman is eight months pregnant. That woman has people following her everywhere. That woman has people asking her a bunch of questions. And now it's her job to hold it together. That's really, it's not fair. It's not Kev's job, the provider and the nigga with all of the millions and millions and millions and millions Wait, of dollars. Wait, are you throwing this on her now? No, I'm saying I pray for, for that type of strength that that young lady has to has to exude right now. You know, I might be agreeing with you because I ain't gonna lie, Vanessa Vanessa Bryant, she held it together very well when Kobe was calling that bullshit. She's, she's, this this young lady, yeah, Vanessa Bryant. She, she held it to, women, she, you know, she women, just kept showing that ring off like, women, what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? Women being women, not girls, not hoes, women holding it together. So this young, this young lady here, to have to deliver the child that way, the doctor going to tell you to keep the stress down, keep all that. This is a lot to deal with. Kev out here could still make jokes and be recorded. She got to just stay quiet and hold the fucking pain in. Mm. Nah, that don't feel good. You got to hold the pain in and push something out? Nah, come on, come on. But you still think she should smile more? I think that she's been put in a hell of a position. That's what I think. I agree. You make me so proud sometimes. Thank you, thank you. 